everybody, it's Ross here, and I'm going to talk about this lithium battery tracing light pad for doing diamond paintings. You can also do it for tracing if you want to, but I got this to do diamond paintings with, so I did a video previously for QEN SPE for some diamond painting frames and a diamond painting, and they also have light pads, and they want to know if I wanted to do a video with one of their light pads. So they sent this to me and here we are. So we're gonna do an unboxing for this. All I've done is I cut the tape open just so it's ready to go. So this is available on Amazon. I'll link to it down below. It's available in white and black. It shows a black one here on the outside of the box. I ordered the white one and it is prime eligible. And let me see right now, the price on this as of January 14th, 2023 is $49.98 for the light pad. This is an A3 light pad, so it's going to be a little bit bigger than an A4 and a little bit smaller than an A2 light pad. I have an A4 light pad I bought many years ago, I used, and then I upgraded to an A2 light pad a long time ago too as well, and I usually use the A2. This is going to be right in between. Also with this one, it, it's got a lithium battery, so it's rechargeable, so you don't need to be tethered to an outlet to use this, so that's... One of the perks of this, whereas my other light pads I have are corded and have to be near an outlet to use them. So, anyways, let's look at what's inside here. And let's look, look at the box a little bit. So, right here it says three color temperature. You got the lithium battery, six levels of adjustable bracket. So, this has a stand on the back as well. And built in six levels of brightness and stepless adjustable brightness. Here's all the things, that, oops, so all that, and then you got to see the A3, look the back side, some of that. So let's open it up and see what's inside the box. So we open it up, and here we have the cable to charge it with. And then we got some foam here, and then we'll take it out of the box. So here is the light pad. It's got a little clip here at the top to hold your diamond painting. You don't have to do that, so if you have it propped up, it will hold it down in place. And on the back side is the stand, so you can adjust it to different angles. So look at this here first. So if you want to know what the size of this is for like the lighted area, it's going to be, uh, I'm looking at about 30 centimeters by 38 centimeters is the lighted area. And we do that in inches, it's going to be just over 11, about 11 and a half inches by 15 inches. Oop. It's got right here. It says it's got some protective film on it, so we'll remove the protective film from the front. So we'll peel that off. So. I thought it was going to be easy to peel it off, and it actually is. It's really on there, but that's good. There we go. All right, that is off. So, it's got a nice matte finish to it. And let's check out the back side here, see how this, figure out how the stand works. So it looks like it's going to hinge at those points. Oh, we got some power in it. I haven't charged it yet, but it's already got power. I just happened to hit the power button. So power button's up here in the corner. So you press it and you get different temperatures and off. So got one setting, second setting, third setting, then off. And then here is going to be your brightness button. Okay. Here. So right here is your brightness one. So here 
it's the different light levels. And then the brightness will go here, then we go. So if you want to adjust the brightness, you just hit that button. There's six different levels. It just kind of cycles through it. Same here. And here. And off. So let's look at this stand on the back. So I'm going to lift out here. And it's got a little snaps there. And then it's got the different, so depending on what angle you want it to raise up at, you can actually put this bar here into the different slots. So, so if you, what's, like, well, what's nice with this is you don't have to always have your neck bent over and looking down, you can kind of angle it up for you. So a little bit easier to look at if you want. And then you got that little piece right here to hold your pain in place so it's not gonna slide around. So I'm going to work on a painting with the light pad and come back and let you know how it is. I'll probably also do a little video of me actually using the light pad with the painting so you can see what it's like. Because pretty much the benefit of the light pad is it lights up the painting from behind. So it's kind of easier to read um, the drill. What am I trying to say? It's easier to read the symbols on the canvas. I was lost for words. So sometimes you have a canvas that might be really dark and the printing's kind of hard to read, this light pad will let you kind of light it from behind and actually kind of make sense of what the symbols are. Is this required to do diamond painting? This is not required to do diamond painting. This is something you can buy extra, kind of like an add-on tool that if you're gonna, if you try diamond painting, you really enjoyed it, this is a nice tool to have, kind of like to add to your collection of tools to do diamond painting. Like I said, I have an A4, which is a smaller size. I have an A2, which is larger. This right here is in the middle between the two. And what I like about this is it's portable, so I can take it from room to room to work on it. Because sometimes I want to do diamond paintings here in my yarn room. Sometimes I want to do them out in the other room where I got my A2 pad. So now I can just kind of pick this up and go wherever I want with it. If I want to set the kitchen table and do a diamond painting, I can do that as well. Because I can just take this on the go. So I will... Oh, one last thing, I want to show you where it charges. So right here is the port to charge it in. Then you just plug it into a USB outlet to charge it. So I'm going to work with this and come back and add it to the end of this video. So I will see you in a bit. So let's take a look at the light pad actually in action. I've been working on this stem pane right here. I have the light pad propped up. So there's, we can kind of see there how it is. There's little rubber pieces right there at the bottom. It still, it slides on this surface. Maybe if it's on a different surface, it might not slide. But I'm finding it does still slide when I go to press down on the canvas. So when I go to press down on the canvas, I just kind of hold it with one hand and press down with the other hand. And it's, it's fine. I have no problems with it. Um, but I really like that there's different shades of light. Oh, that's the right term light temperatures that's what it is temperatures of light so like we have this one right here and this is i think at the brightest setting and then we got this light temperature right here which is kind of like a a yellowish white and then you got this one's like in between the other two and then you got off are the th those are the three different settings and then what i like is you can press this button right here and this will toggle through the different brightnesses. So it goes down and up and up and down. There's that. And then you get that one. So whatever preference you have, there's a lot of pref light choices to choose from. Whatever works best for you and your eyes in the canvas you're working on. So this canvas was actually pretty easy to read without the light, but it just it enhances it, makes it a lot easier to kind of clearly see what is what, and I like that. So I'm a big fan of light pads for diamond paintings. It's not required, it's not something you need to have, but if you find yourself doing a lot of diamond paintings, it's actually, I find, very helpful. Especially on some of the canvases that are kind of dark, it helps really brighten up those symbols so you know where to put your drills but i really really like this so 
I'll have a link to the light pad down below in the description box. Um, yeah, I I really enjoy this light pad, and I have no cords plugged into it, so it was charged, and now I'm just kind of working without any cords. So that's really nice. I like that. I like that it's rechargeable and wireless. So, or when I say wireless, you can use it without being plugged in. That's what I meant. So. I like that you can charge it up and then take it wherever you want to go, work on it, and you don't need to be tethered to an outlet to work on your diamond pin. You can kind of work on it wherever you want with this. So that's really cool. I love it. So, get to my thumbs up.